like a hell cut. Before we get started, I have a favor. If you enjoy my content and want to see me continue to improve in both quality and size, please check out my Patreon linked in the description. Any amount helps and it is greatly appreciated. There are so many rewards for each level of donation, so go check it out. Now back to the video. Hey guys, this is Matthew Avenger, and because I uploaded five videos yesterday when this is being uploaded, I'm uploading this today, which is the day after I'm recording it and the day after it was announced. Uh, maintenance will begin yesterday um, at 1.30 p.m. Downtime, about 30 minutes for the new mid-season patch, which is kind of amazing that it's already here, but then I realized, wait a second, that's actually how the time goes by, so yeah. So start. What was that? Okay. There's a really weird noise. I think it's our brother making noise. Okay, starting off with balancing buck. More keys, more open doors, more opportunities. Frag grenades are replaced with claymores. Increased skeleton key magazine capacity. Skeleton key magazine capacity increased to five plus one. Skeleton key max ammo now in uh, now count max ammo count is now twenty five plus one. I cannot read apparently. Buck brings an uh, exclusive uh, soft breach, exclusive soft breaching capability to his team that makes him one of the best at what he does. And we feel having frag grenades on top of that is a bit too much. The claymore should reduce the punch of his kit from the frags, but do more to provide cover while he's soft breaching. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's making it where he has more, he can do more. Of the soft destruction that he's capable of doing. I've, I've never used him for his frag grenade. Um, but apparently that was really strong. So that's why they had to remove it. Next we get Cav. Um, more customization. Added Razor Holographic Sight to her M12. Uh, we feel like the Razor is a great addition for the, uh, for the M12. Due to the good visibility it grants while aiming. And gives it more customization options. So... A buff. Uh, I know there was someone last, I think, in the actual launch of Void Edge that got it. It might have been... I don't know who it was, actually. I don't remember who it was, was off the top of my head. I'll probably have to look that up later. Next, Jaeger. We're listening to your feedback. Thank you. He's now 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I saw this coming. Jaeger's a very, uh, very strong roamer, and multiple data points demonstrate his huge presence in the game. To make his presence a bit less uh, oppressive in game, we're looking to moderate that by reducing his roaming potential. So, they're making him slower. Pretty interesting. Think it's in a good direction, but I still think they need to start looking at his utility to nerf instead of anything else. Mozzie, this is one I don't like. He loses the super shorty. Um... He is currently a powerful intelligence uh, counter and is a great roamer in the same breath. Altogether, that gives him a very high game presence as a single operator. We're looking to tone down how much he can bring to his team. Basically, he's good at doing everything because he can do soft breaching, soft destruction with his super shoddy. He can roam and he can take out intelligence. So he's just able to do everything. So they have to deal with that. I understand it, but I want him to have the super shoddy still. Ying, um, giving her a little bit of love, increasing the number of candela she has to four, up from three, replacing claymores with smokes, uh, so she doesn't have claymores, she has smokes now, which, eh, kind of counterintuitive, I mean, you blind and then double blind, I guess, I don't know, I, I just find that a little weird, uh, they increase the damage of the, uh, T95, uh, LSW to 46, up from 43, her presence is still a bit low. Uh, they're just improving her weapons and her uh, her candela, so she'll have more presence. So I mean, I guess it's good. Um, I don't play Ying. Actually, that's a lie. I've started playing Ying a lot. Um, I thought she was okay, but I guess this is just gonna make her even better. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Uh, the TCSG-12, which is Kaiden Goyo's weapon, added additional magazine to the uh, TCSG-12, reduced the TCSG-12 damage to 55, down from 84. Holy crap. They half its damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, it can currently kill any operator with two shots. 
We're adding an extra magazine to reduce... Is that the shotgun? I believe that's the shotgun. Oh yeah, that's, that's the shotgun. That's the shotgun. Wow. Is that the shotgun? Or is that a pistol? No, that's definitely a shotgun. I, I honestly don't remember. I think that's his shotgun because he has the same SMG as uh, Mira. So that's probably a shotgun. That's kind of crazy. Okay, they just half that weapon. They just nerfed that weapon into the ground, whatever the weapon was. It's kind of kind of crazy. They fixed a barricade bug where it would cause you to rubber band because it would not be removed server side, server side and only be removed on your side. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean, outside of that, there's some minor bug fixes. Um, pretty small mid-season patch, if I'm being entirely honest. Or this, I think this is the mid-season patch. Um, what patch is this actually? Does it say specifically what patch it is? It just says it's for uh, season one of uh, year five. Huh. I don't know. I think this is mid-season patches. I've seen people saying it is. Um, although I was expecting them to add Tachanka, the Tachanka rework with it. Um, clearly, that's not the way they're going. So, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about these changes? Um, who do you think has the biggest change? Which change, do you disagree with any of these changes? I disagree with Mozzie. In a, I, I, I kind of sort of disagree with the Jaeger one, mainly because I think that they need to focus on his utility instead of his stats. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below in the Discord server. It's in the description. So, always thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Follow me on my socials. Keep up the updates on the channel. Go to my Discord, join the conversation, go to my Patreon if you like support me. It's Matthew Avenger. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out.